Chinatown has better food than the strip Chinese, and they're absolutely right. Chili means it's spicy. Yeah. Okay. You ready or you need it? Yeah. She wants something not hot. Okay. Not, not spicy. This one is not spicy. Okay, now yeah, comes the with the vegetable, vegetable green fish, onion. Fish, you have, you have a pickled vegetable, but we can do it no spice too. And chicken mushroom is not spicy. I think this one. You want the beef yeah. brisket? Yeah, okay. and that's, um, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. that's good. Okay. Can I get a, you've been burning the oil? Okay, send the spicy for you. Make it hot. Make it hot. Can you leave this? I'm just gonna look. Okay. Sorry? Can you leave, I'm gonna just oh, look. Sure, oh, yeah, sure. okay. Any appetizer? Uh, we have spicy wonton, it's good. Spicy wonton, popcorn fried chicken, calamari. fried calamari. It's right, the other side. Oh, okay. So like, yeah. okay. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see. Yes. Spring rolls, onion pancake. That sounds good. Onion pancake. It's not greasy, right? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like a scallion, same? Okay. Yeah. Same for me. Okay. Some uh, basil, some uh, spice. Yeah, we'll try that. I'll try that. The popcorn chicken, right? No, no, no. Uh, no. Onion pancakes. Oh, onion pancakes. Yeah. Oh, onion pancakes, sorry. You get whatever you want. Okay. Spicy one times, good. Fish ball with sauté sauce. Fish ball with sauté sauce, okay. Thank you. I worry. So we are in Noodlehead. Noodlehead in Chinatown. I felt like eating some kind of ramen. So cameraman suggest he knows all the places. He suggests it's Noodlehead place. So right now I just have an iced tea, unsweetened iced tea, just regular iced tea, and um, ordered a scallion pancake, or it's called onion pancake, same thing, and then a beef brisket noodle. Um, Ramen. I think it's ramen. Like soup. Yeah. They call it soup noodle. I guess it's the same thing. So um, we're going to be going into Greenland, a store after this, because I decided I'm going to make a spicy Korean fish stew. So we're going to go and I'm going to have all the ingredients written down and buy all the ingredients. This should be a really nice store. So hang with us when we go there. And a little story time. So I remember I, I was just talking to um, Kenny Rogers' father. If you guys remember, I took Kenny Rogers out of the shelter and I gave him to Dustin. And Dustin is working. Dustin is working for a um, moving company. And I was just telling camera guy that I remember my mother wanted an estimate for her when my, after my father died she was going to move in with me in vegas this is in florida she wanted an estimate for how much it was going to cost her to move so we had this guy come from beacons i don't even know if they're still around and anyway the first thing he did i didn't like is he pulled into my into our driveway now if you're a service person doing any kind of work around the house you don't pull into somebody's driveway unless you have permission or whatever I didn't like that. That pissed me off. We came in and he started asking her, so are you going to take this uh, couch and this chair? And she goes, I'm definitely taking the couch and the chair. She, he goes, what about the table? He goes, I'm not quite sure about the table. Because you don't know, you don't know about the table? She goes, no, I don't know yet. I'll let you know in a few minutes. I'm trying to think about it, but I don't know yet. He goes, are you going to take that uh, armoire? He goes, she says, I'm not really sure, but he goes, don't you know what you're taking? And he started getting nasty with her. Now, if anybody disrespected my parents in any way, I'll kill them, literally. I mean, that's how pissed off that I get. And he kept on with her. He, she goes, he goes, are you taking this? And he, she goes, I'm not quite sure. Like, Don't you know what you're taking? And he starts getting really rambunctious. So I said to her, Ma, call Ma in, uh, from New York, it's old school Ma, Ma, get rid of them because I'm starting to, I feel myself getting really agitated. In a minute, I'm going to go off on him. So get rid of the guy. She goes, no, she was very passive. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It'll, everything will be fine. And he starts in again. He goes, well, now 
you don't know what you're taking, that was it. He was like the other side of the room. My niece told me I did this, I don't remember. She said I ran from one end of the room to the other. She said I looked like an ape. I was making these guttural sounds like this. I jumped on his back and I got him a headlock around his neck. This is what I did. I told, I warned my mother, she didn't listen. I was crazy back then. And I got him in a headlock and finally he got me off of him and he ran out of the house and he forgot his briefcase, left his briefcase here. And he goes, oh, I didn't take my briefcase. I said, you don't get your briefcase now, motherfucker. You don't get it, get out. He got out, he went to the police. Well, my parents and I were very good friends with the police. It was a small little town, we were friendly with the police. So he got the police, and here's the police at the door. So I opened the door and says, this man said that you attacked, assaulted him, you attacked him and stole his briefcase. I said, he attacked me. I was defending myself. I said, he jumped on me out of the clear blue sky. He must be psychotic. And I don't have his briefcase. Okay, ma'am, fine. That's okay. Well, they didn't take his word. They took my word. And he went out without his briefcase. And that didn't have anything in it. I looked through. There's papers and all kinds of stuff. I don't know. But I'm just trying to bring up a point where don't mess with my parents or my family. Do, do not. Because I'll go old school on you, like the mop. I, I don't tolerate that stuff. So I just thought I'd bring that story up. Wow. So-called... This is mine. This is my so-called fa, not fa, um, ramen. It's noodles and pieces of brisket and a beef broth. So. Taste the broth. It's good. Probably gonna wind up taking this home. Let's see if I know how to use these. Still don't know how to use them. We'll need a fork and spoon for her. Okay, thank you. No, I am going to learn how to use this. One way or the other, I'm so retarded with these things. I don't know if you're supposed to put your index finger inside. Why can't I do it? Hold it like a pencil. Okay. I know why I'm trying too hard. Like a pencil. So, I, my thumb goes like that. Bring the point up. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Okay, I did it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you when you pull it up, you just pull it up, rotate your wrist so it doesn't fall off. It just fell off. If you pull it up like that, it has a way to fall off. I'm gonna. Ha I have them at home. I'm gonna practice at home. Right now, I'm not. Is this on camera? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Jeez. You know what? There's an easier way to do this. You stab it. Yeah. There you go. See how good I am? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just take one of your... Oh, okay. okay. Do you have sweet and sour sauce? Sweet sauce. Okay. Everything comes at once. All right. This is a scallion pancake. No. Onion pancake. Well, it's a set, yeah, they call it onion, scallion? it's scallion because it's got the green. They call it onion, but it's a scallion. Um, this is a fish ball made out of fish. What kind of, thank you. What kind of fish? You don't know. Let's taste fish ball, it's fish ball. It's interesting. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's good. It's like a, I can't make out the fish. Like a white, a white fish? No, it's not the fishy kind of fish. Um. This is my yibin burning noodle. It's dry, no soup in it. That's how I like it. Very spicy for $12. What did you get, dry? Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna eat soup today. So it's just, what is it? Just dry noodles? Dry noodles, yeah. 
I didn't know you could do that. You didn't know you could do that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you need to learn a lot more. <laughs> With Asian cuisine, I yeah, did, yeah. yeah. They'll have these nuts. Well, just like you don't know a lot about Eastern European yeah, cuisine. Yeah, I don't know anything about Jewish. You know nothing about Jewish. I don't know anything about African. African I don't either, and I asked a co-worker of mine to make um, Ethiopian food, and she didn't know how to do it, too Americanized. But I know that Asian food is healthier to eat than the crap the Americans eat. Yeah. Good. You know what it reminds me of? Mm. You're gonna laugh. There's a dish, um, Eastern European dish, or Jewish, called boiled beef. Where they take the beef, sort of like this. Um, I don't know if it's brisket. No, it's I don't know what it is. It's um, flanken. Flanken meat, which is actually um, a short rib. Flanken, short rib, same kind of thing. This reminds me of boiled beef. My grandmother used to make it, and she used to boil it in soup. Very similar. It's delicious, this thing. And we used to eat it with horseradish. This tastes very much like it. What is yours? It's spicy, but it's also pork. That's why I'm not. That's why you can't. No, have it. Take one of my pancakes if you want. Okay, this is the, they call it an onion pancake. Usually, I've seen it where it's an Asian pancake. And there's no knives here. There we go. Tell you one thing, it's very, very crispy. I've ordered these before in a regular Chinese restaurant and they've been very flat, very uncrispy. This, this is, seems like it's crisp. The inclusion of um, noodle head, very good, very small menu, but like I said, this reminds me of the boiled beef my grandmother used to make. Delicious. I'm going to take it home because. Can't eat it all, and they—I forgot to say, tell you—it has a lot of bok choy in it, which is delicious. I believe this is cilantro. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure what this is. I think it's cilantro. If I smell it, can't make it out. I think it's cilantro, but it's really the broth is delicious. Everything is really good. And really, like I said, I gave it a nine. It's got to be good. I'll take the rest home and have it as a meal. It's very, very good. Thank you.